Hi, everyone. I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. It is Wednesday, November 12, 2014, a little after uh, 8 o'clock, just before 9 o'clock. And the question is, is it going to snow this weekend? Well, I know you want that question answered. There's a lot that goes into a winter weather forecast, and so here's a little webcast extra with all the details. Let's start off, first of all, with the temperatures. Very cold across almost the entire nation. It's nearly zero in Denver. You have four degrees in Billings, below zero in Canada in spots. And the satellite and radar kind of paints a picture of a quiet nation. A little bit of snow in Colorado in the nation's midsection, but for the most part, not a whole lot of activity. That's going to change over the weekend. As we look at the satellite and radar, we got to focus our attention way out in the Pacific Ocean in order to determine what's going to happen this weekend. System number one is just to the west of uh, Oregon and Washington, and that is uh, going to be uh, moving closer to our area. And system number two, which might be a little more difficult to pick up, is way west of California. And uh, that system number two is moving eastward as well. Now, if you're looking at these two systems, which one do you think might affect us over the weekend? If you're thinking it's system number one because it's closer, you would actually be incorrect. That system's going to move to the northeast and then back to the northwest over Alaska, get absorbed in the very large low that's to the west of an extremely strong high over Canada. System number two is actually the one that's coming in, and that's going to be moving uh, towards the east and into the west coast by Friday and into Saturday. It brings the potential for some winter weather over our area. But as you can see, system number two is about 1,600 miles away from the U.S. coast. So there is a lot of uncertainty as to the exact track of this system. And also, all the weather balloons, all the upper air sounding networks are not analyzing this air mass. Therefore, the computer models really won't have a good handle of this system until it gets into the upper air network. And that's not going to happen until Friday. There's one of the reasons for your uncertainty when you're forecasting winter weather. So water vapor shows system number one swirling and spinning. However, system number two is no slouch, and it is increasing in intensity, and there's a lot of jet stream energy behind it, so I think this system may be stronger than what some, comp what some computer models predict. Now, the water vapor uh, shows you that track moving to the east-southeast and then eventually turning to the east over New Mexico as well as Arizona, and then it starts to turn back to the northeast over Arkansas. But the question remains, what will be the exact track of this low? The track of the low significantly changes the forecast. Let me give you an example why. Let's say that low and the center of it tracks over southwest Missouri. Well, what that's going to do is pump warm, moist air in and uh, above freezing, and that's going to cause a warm layer of air in the lower to middle levels. That's going to melt a lot of the snow, and therefore you get a wintry mix. That's one possibility. The next possibility is that the system tracks a little bit farther to the south. And if that happens, yeah, you get the moisture return from the Gulf of Mexico, but now you have that warm, moist air running into colder air in the mid-levels, which leads to more snow rather than a wintry mix. So the track of this low will be very crucial to the forecast uh, for the area on Saturday. And so that is very uncertain. As you saw, it's 1,600 miles off the coast of the United States and still a few thousand miles away from northwest Arkansas. So satellite and radar also underestimated the cloud cover on the computer models this afternoon, and that's a red caution flag as well. Here's a future track, and watch as the cloud cover kind of rolls in. We're going to have some clouds in the morning, clearing out another high cloudiness developing during the Friday afternoon hours. Then on Saturday morning into the afternoon, there's that precipitation coming in. But the speed of the system is also important. And this computer model is showing a lot of warm air moving in because it appears the track is uh, coming into southwest Missouri, according to this computer model. So there it is, showing a wintry mix, which is in the pink. You can also see that area of rain in the river valley and mainly snow in southwest Missouri. So as we put this into motion, the track of the, and the speed of this system will be crucial because, as you can tell, most of the precipitation is out of here by Saturday 5 o'clock. I don't believe that. I think this system is coming in too fast according to the future track, 
and uh, that definitely has been known to do that, bring in systems a little too quick. So here's the estimated snowfall according to the future track computer model, which is also known as the RPM, the rapid precision model. Computer models are not always correct, and that's our struggle as a meteorologist to differentiate which one is correct and which one is not. And as you can see, those snow totals are meager at best, uh, two tenths of an inch, three tenths of an inch, and not even showing anything in Fayetteville. Keep in mind, this only goes out to about 5 o'clock at this point, which is a little less than 72 hours. But as we look at a different computer model, and this one has been handling this system personally, I think, a lot better. This one st shows the snow starting to pile up by Saturday evening, and that's during the Razorback game. Saturday overnight into Sunday morning, we're looking at uh, already about an inch to an inch and a half. And here's the surprising thing. There's another weather system that's coming in from Canada that's going to be diving south. That's going to bring another round of light snow overnight Sunday and into Monday. That is also very uncertain because, uh, you know, it's all these moving parts in a winter weather forecast and just one little small minute change can throw the entire thing off. So that's one of the computer models showing about an inch to two inches over the area. Now the GFS, which is called the Global Forecast System, shows that snow coming in Saturday afternoon as well. But the GFS has been blowing it lately. And over the last few days, it didn't even have any precipitation because it wasn't saying uh, a whole lot of moisture would return from the Gulf. Well, now it's kind of finally changed its tune and does develop precipitation. And by Saturday night, we're looking at an inch to two and a half inches in Rogers. This is just a computer model. This is not exactly what is going to take place. And so you can see another wave, watch this, Sunday night and into early Monday, a little light additional accumulation. Well, the system on Sunday night into Monday could be stronger, and also it is going to be all snow because there won't be that mid-levels uh, of warm air on a Sunday night into Monday. So here's what you need to know, the four W's to sum it all up in this uh, very long, detailed web extra. What is the threat? Well, we have that potential for a wintry mix to light snow, but the track of the low, the strength of the warm air coming in from the south, and all of that will determine how much we see. Personally, I think our totals will range from about an inch to two inches. Now, while that might not be a really huge snowfall, that could cause some road, road issues Saturday night and into early Sunday. Cold weather will also be likely, and that's going to be happening. So if you are attending the Razorback game, there is one certainty. It's going to be uh, right around freezing with wind chills below freezing, and that's going to remain for the duration of the game. When does all this arrive? I personally think the precipitation starts Saturday afternoon. The snow will uh, begin Saturday evening and into early Sunday. That's when the best chance of snow will be. And there also is that question about another round coming in with an additional system late Sunday and into early Monday. The heaviest accumulation of about one to two inches will be north of I-40. Wintry mix is looking more likely in the River Valley because they're on the cusp of that warm air surging in from the south. Heaviest accumulations will be the farther north in southwest Missouri. And the reason why it occurs, you got a compact system that moves in Saturday. But again, the track and the speed, very much uncertain. And also the computer models having a tough time figuring out how much moisture will return. That's been the talk. This system will be moisture starved. Well, not necessarily according to the European also, the uh, GFS is now seeing a little more moisture, and the system, if it's stronger, is going to bring stronger south winds, so that will all play a role in producing more precipitation. Obviously, though, it's still uncertain. I will be giving an accumulation forecast uh, during your newscast, also on social media. That is going to be tomorrow evening when the latest computer model data comes in, but that system still won't be on the coast of the United States, so there will still be that uncertainty. But that's the latest in this very detailed webcast extra. Just the bottom line is precipitation is going to happen, in my opinion, on Saturday. I think it snows during the Razorback game, and uh, I think that it's going to be an inch or two inches, possibly, if that wintry mix doesn't uh, become a little bit more pronounced. So that's the latest. Keep you here with your weather authority, and we'll keep you up to date with the latest.